Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video. If you guys could smash the likes because today we are doing 10 reasons why you should watch WWE Hell in a Cell 2015. I always do these videos for every single pay-per-view. You guys love them. Buzzing to do today's video. So let's kick things off with number one and that is it's the last match we will ever see between Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker. That's absolutely huge. You've got to watch Hell in a Cell. It's the last match between Lesnar and Undertaker. So much history, it's going to be a big one. The next reason is number two, which is Kane's duties as director of operations is on the line. It's a must-win situation for Kane. Anything can happen. You're going to have to watch Hell in a Cell to find out if he keeps the title of Director of Operations or he has to be Demon Kane and is kicked out of the authority. Number three is John Cena is having a US Open Challenge live on the pay-per-view. How big is that? Who is going to accept it? Potentially, it could be anybody on the roster. Tyler Breeze could be a potential opponent. Who knows? It's all on the line. It's completely random. It's going to be huge, whoever it is, so you've got to have to watch Hell in a Cell to find out who's going to accept the challenge. Number four, the New Day are defending the tag team titles against the Dudley Boys for the third time. Will it be third time lucky for the Dudley Boys? Who knows? You're going to have to watch the pay-per-view to find out. Number five, Charlotte's in her first title defense as WWE Divas Champion. We're going to have to find out if it's a good match. Is it entertaining? It's going to be interesting if she wins. You're going to have to watch it to find out. Number six, we're getting a rematch from Raw between Ziggler, Cesaro and Neville against Rusev, Sheamus and King Barrett. Their match on Raw was amazing. It was really, really good. So on Hell in a Cell, hopefully the match is just as good as, good as it was on Raw. And I'm really looking forward to that. Number seven is there's two Hell in a Cell matches. That is absolutely huge. It only happens once every year. It's entertaining, it's great, you're going to have to watch Hell in a Cell to watch these two mega Hell in a Cell matches. Number 8 is, John Cena is scheduled to have a break after Hell in a Cell, so it's really likely that whoever accepts the US Open Challenge at the pay-per-view is going to become the new United States Champion. So you're going to have to watch Hell in a Cell to find out who wins the US title. Number 9, will Roman Reigns, after months and months, finally get his revenge on Bray Wyatt for costing him the Money in the Bank briefcase? And number 10 is, that is Undertaker finally, after almost two years, going to get payback on Brock Lesnar for ending the streak? Or is the Beast's reign going to carry on over The Undertaker forever? So there are my 10 reasons why you should watch Hell in a Cell, guys. Hopefully you guys can smash the likes and you enjoyed the video. Take care, spike your hair.